Before we built the seven foot long queen post truss, we learned a bit about trusses. A truss is a beam made of lots of different pieces or members, some of which form triangles. Most truss bridges are through trusses. That means the cars and people, etc., go through the truss. Then there's a deck truss, where the, lo the live load, that's the cars, people, etc., are on top of the deck. We used a king post truss to demonstrate how tension and compression combine to support the load. Okay, guys, we got a king post truss bridge, and David is going to be the live load. You're 125 pounds. So Kingston, when he sits on the bridge, he's pushing down on the two by four. Yes. And what's what's happening on the bottom of that two by four? Uh, the string or the cable is pulling up. So the cable is pulling up from underneath. And the live load is pushing down from the top. Yes. Which means? It's uh, being compressed here. Being compressed. So that's compression. Is there any tension on the bridge? Uh, on the cable. The cable's in tension. OK. So have we clamped the ends of the bridge so it's not going to slide off the table? Yes. yes. OK, David, you know what to do. T turn around. Turn around. There you go. Just step up. There you go. Nothing to it. Now, did the bridge? Flatten out a bit? Uh, a, little, a little bit. Yeah. It was nice and it was curved up, now it's yeah. almost flat. Then we started okay. to build a queen post truss okay, so we that has two posts assembled. instead of the single post in a king post truss. Here's the gusset plate, here's the cable coming through. Now we're going to do the same thing on this bridge. These are one by, one by fours, and we're connecting it with a, a two by six at cut at an angle. Let me have that two by six for a second. Cut it at 45 degrees at both sides. And the ends of the bridge are also cut at 45 degrees. So we attach the two by six with these metal brackets. We get the two by six centered between the one by fours. Then we use that special VIX bit to get the metal center of the hole. Just a little bit. Now put a screw in. Screw the screw in. Get one on this side. Okay, put the bolt and the, and the sleeve through. I need to nut. Yeah, don't worry about that. Now there's, a, there's some pencil marks there so we know exactly where to line up that two by six post. Yeah. Okay, so put in one screw on each side, drill it first. Good. Other side. Good. Hey, Lumi, you're up. Okay, come on down to this side. Let's do the same one down here. See the pencil marks? That's where you line up the, the post. Clamp it up. Screw. Thank you, David. There you go. So before we attach the gusset plate, we have to put in the bolt. Let me see the bolt in the sleeve. Okay, go ahead, put those in. All right. Forget the gusset plate for now. Sleeve is too long, get another one. Okay, so putting the bolt, goes through the sleeve, go ahead. Put a nut on the outside. 
Now position the gusset plate on the outside. Got a clamp? Somebody got a clamp? DeAndre, you got that big square? Check that the post is right. Good. And just put it oh, down. There you go. Good. And before we attach the gusset plate, I use the big square to make sure that the post is 90 degrees to the, uh, to the bridge deck. Here's a piece of three quarter inch plywood with a notch cut out. So there's space for the eye bolt. Line it up flush at the ends. Hang over a little bit in the middle and attach it with screws. And we tighten up the cable real tight with the turnbuckle and the shackles and the cable clamps. So Kingston, when we put a cable clamp on, how do we know which, which end goes where? Which part of the cable clamp? Uh, good, so there's a cable clamp. So there's the, uh, the saddle, show me the saddle. Turn it th there we go, that's where the cable's gonna go. And then the U-bolt, show me how the U-bolt fits in. Right, and then we tighten it down with the two nuts. Okay, now when we put a, a cable on the cable clamp, I believe we're doing this cable here. Which show me which is the live the live wire. I'll go to the go to the end there. That's the live wire, and the short piece is sort of the return. So the trick is, you never put a saddle on a dead horse, right? Words to live by. So, how would you attach that cable clamp? It's obviously too big, but just show me which 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 part goes where. Okay. There's the saddle. Saddle's on the live the live end. Then the U bolt. Then you tighten it down the nuts. Okay, that's the idea. Good. So Kingston, uh, look at that gusset plate. It looks like it's a bit twisted. Yeah. How come? From we uh, tightened it, it will be uh, tightened the cable really tight. Yeah. So from the tension of the cable, it turned the whole post and the gusset plate upwards. Right. Yeah. The top of that gusset plate was flush with the bridge, and now you can see it's twisted. Right there. Yes. We had too much, a lot of tension on the cable. So uh, we could put more bolts on there. Show me where we put the bolts. We put the bolts here and here. That's one way. Any any other ideas to keep that post from twisting? Our other idea was that we put we'd make another triangle. Yeah. From there to over here. That would be even stronger. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do on the weekend. Good. After we attach diagonal bracing. We shouldn't have a problem with a 475 pound live load. So we're going to put a live load on the bridge, right? What's a live load? Live load is something that's not permanent. Like? Like cars, like cars or a person. Right. Personal. Snow. And uh, we got the cable nice and ten tensioned nicely. Okay. Let's go one at a time. Next. Jacob, take the chair down to the end. You go to the other side. Okay. Oh, shoot, the chair fell. Yeah. The, okay. No problem, right, guys? Okay, so you yeah. guys are holding a 20 pound bucket, and each line is about almost 90 degrees yeah. to the horizontal. So, 20 pound load, how much are you holding up? 10. 10. Okay, spread apart. Let's go to about 60 degrees. Come on, get in there with the, with the protractor. Let's see. Uh, uh, roughly 60, okay? Okay, back off now. So, wait, wait. you gotta lift it up. Go back to 60 degrees. Go back to 60 degrees. Lift it up. Heavier? 
A little, oh, a little bit. Okay, well, keep going. Back away. Let's get in with the protractor. Let's let's go to 30 degrees. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, not, I didn't say drop it. Come on, come on, wimps. Hold it up. So that's what I want. Come on. All right, good. So. At 30 degrees, how much were you holding up? Uh, 20. 20. Well, at, at 30 degrees, it was 20. And at 20 degrees, it might have been 30 pounds. OK? The cable can go through the post at two different places. Here, it makes a 60 degree angle with the horizontal. When it's at a 30 degree angle, there's much more tension in the cable. We'd better know how to figure out just how much tension there will be too much tension and the cable might break. In the next video, we'll use basic trig to compute this.